All right, we're given the following limit. Limit is x goes to zero of one minus cosine x over x squared, and we're asked to evaluate it. So our first step will be to just directly substitute in our limit and see what happens. Cosine of zero is one, one minus one is zero. Zero squared is zero. So we have a bit of a problem here. We have an indeterminate form of zero over zero, which implicates our dear friend L'Hopital and his most wonderful rule. So we'll differentiate the numerator and differentiate the denominator and reevaluate the limit to see what happens. So the derivative of one is zero, derivative of negative cosine is sine. Derivative of x squared is two x. And now we directly substitute and look at our limit again. Sine of zero is zero. Two times zero is zero. Now we can either stop or realize that we still have an indeterminate form. We're trying to find the limit of a rational function, so we apply L'Hopital's rule again. Derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of 2x is 2. So we uh, now we're just going to reevaluate this limit. Cosine of 0 is 1. The limit doesn't have any effect here because there's no variable. There's no x here, so we just bring this 2 over. And that leaves us with this limit being 1 half. Now because of L'Hopital's rule and uh, because of continuity, we then know that the limit of this whole mess up here is also 1 half. And that's our answer because of L'Hopital's rule and by continuity.